Easy peasy Japanesey, folks. <laughs> We got Razor and Bassanova yeah, yeah, in the yeah. house. Welcome to Dome, what the up? greatest freestyle rap podcast, comedy, whatever on the planet. Um, so we got uh, Dave's over here uh, grinding up. Sorry. Some He's the co-host. This is fine. Just do your thing, Dave. Uh, don't interrupt. <laughs> I forgot a lighter. Um, and uh, uh, I have a lighter for you. Why don't you oh, guys? Yeah. Oh, okay. We got we got lighters. Yes. Less. Uh, why Thank don't you, you guys take a sec? We are Razor's a kind of a repeat guest yeah. here. We're, I don't want to. I, I we're, want him to talk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, then we'll, we'll start with Bassanova. I'll be honest. I thought it was Bassanova. I thought it was Bassanova too. And multiple times where I looked you up wrong because I was like, "There's no boss in Bassanova." I was like, "Bass <laughs> base." There's bass. Ba- bass, but I was, that's also like, is it fish related in some way, shape, or form? So my name is Alex Bass. Uh, ah. Ah. <laughs> Everyone called me Bassy growing up, so I used to be Bassy Beats. A real bass turd. I like over that. Here. Bassy Beats yeah. is cool. Yeah. Damn, I had some dumb names coming up. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. King H. That was I, my, my last name's Haddad. So I, I was King H. I'd call myself A Dog at one point for, for the Alex. That was pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> that's like literally a guy like the, his like sees uh, one ounce of black culture once and decides <laughs> to give himself a name. Oh yeah, I'm A Dog. Yeah. I'm A Dog. <laughs> yeah. I had a Italian friend who used to call me AB Swag in like middle school. Hell <laughs> fucking dog. Damn. It's like Damn. felt cool at the time, but you realize how <laughs> corny it is. <laughs> Dude, I was so in the King H world that my friends. When I went to a new school, gave me a jersey that had King H on the back. I still oh. like King H. King H isn't bad. You could bring it back. You'd be a persona. Special occasion. Right. Like one of those like aliases. Like, that could be like my slim shade. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think the old, I was always Razor, but I remember like when I was kind of like starting off and like freestyling with friends, I was like Young Zay. And then I was 13, so I was like young Zay 13. I would go by now, my age. Now you're, <laughs> now you're adult Zay. Yeah. yeah adult old Zay, Zay. 25. <laughs> and you're like, damn, I'm getting old, so I can't be young Zay. Anymore. Nah, I'm young as fuck. You guys are a little younger. younger. How old are you? I'm 25. <laughs> okay. Like I a couple of 25. That makes yeah. sense. I, uh, I get that vibe. Yeah, yeah, you know, what 25, 30, like once you're past the age of 25, it's like all the same. I feel like you guys still you guys still have a little bit of hope. I, feel, I, feel, I, feel, I, feel. I was I was hearing today that the <laughs> that now your guys' frontal cortex is officially finished developing. Right. 20, 25 apparently is when that that finishes up. So I hopefully like you guys have smoked more, too much like, weed. I mean, yeah. there's a lot more we could you know, do and grow with the frontal cortex. Like, I mean, no, no, no. I'm, nah, he, I'm pretty I think, sure it's I think done. It's science. <laughs> I think it's scientifically your cortex is done growing. Yeah. You could probably learn information and retain it, but I don't know if you're going to get any oh, more okay. mass up oh, there. Okay. <laughs> then, all right, then. So now you can smoke Halloween and not really like worry give a about fuck. Your development. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I was already doing that. So. Damn, dude. <laughs> I was straight though. Your frontal I was like, cortex is high as shit. You know shit. what? I'll be honest. I didn't really, really start like heavy smoking until after I graduated high school. And even then I wasn't really, I wasn't smoking like every day. Like now you, I smoke every day. Do you get anxiety? No, I just like to be high. So the, the weed doesn't, like, because for me, weed gives me a little bit of anxiety, but then I recognize it. I'm like, oh, I'm anxious That's, because of the weed, and yeah. then I move past it. But there's that moment in my chest where I'm like, I wish I was dead. That's only ever happened to me twice, where, like, I had a serious panic attack, and I was, like, mid-blunt, I was like, I got to put this shit down. Wow. Like, That's going to happen to me only in about 13 twice. minutes when we smoke it. Yo, I stay anxious. Yeah, and it's not the best, but you know what? I feel it in my chest. Uh both of my breasts i detest the feeling i get when i smoke the cess what i smoke weed and i want to die immediately why i cry every <laughs> single day and night as soon as i hit the pipe i do the shit that i don't like i ask myself god why Yo, why why uh, why i'm so anxious and i'm so faceless smoking Ooh. marijuana and a nigga so painless Damn. why do i seem like i'm shooting shots aimless and i might be a little bit brainless Ooh. i'm smoking the load and it makes me paranoid just thinking about the void Whoa. Nothing around but me And I'm feeling way too high to even see uh, yeah. I'm annoyed in the void, paranoid, so devout and, uh, I'm about to eat some trout Cause <laughs> I came up on the bass You know I get yeah. the ass when I'm smoking on the grass at last <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> okay, David! We're, we're off to a good start Yeah! yeah. yeah. I'm a what the fuck? That was a pretty good one <laughs> No, you know, I had a banger in like two uh, seconds. Yeah, that was fucking dope. I've done this once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> while, while grinding the That's weed, a... <laughs> I'm over here just 
Spitting rap. Yeah, Drop I didn't, I didn't that realize. Shit right now. What was that beat right there? Oh, uh, fuck. Good Hang call, on. man. The phone, the phone, Not the keeping phone. you accountable. Oh, no, no, I guarantee to. I guarantee it's a lethal needle. I love you guys. That's why I, I uh, got to keep might, you guys accountable. That might be the lethal. You think that was... Uh, it's nah, funny. This I don't is, think it is. Yeah, yeah. Natural by lethal needle. Okay, uh, sorry. Look at that. Sorry, okay, lethal. I prepped this yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> um, shit. So you guys are like heavy on this project right now. How many songs are on the project? Was it 16? 15? 15. 15. Damn. 15 projects. It's called Swordfish. Yes, sir. Is it uh, based on that uh, John Travolta movie? Nah, but um, we I found like, that. Like Halle Berry. I've, I've been using it for promo, but I didn't. I haven't heard of that until after we. Have you Have you guys idea. seen it? Never. For a chance? No. You know, it's, it's worth funny. a watch. It's so worth a watch. I told someone, one of my homies at work. I told him I was naming the album Swordfish like a while back when we came up with the name, and he was like, "Oh, like that John Travolta movie." I was like, "Never <laughs> even." I was like, "I've never even heard of that movie." You guys are just like, very the, the big yeah. fans of eating swordfish. Yeah. So swordfish I'll, is go ahead. razor plus bass. Oh, so the wow. sword, the sword and the fish. Oh yeah, yeah. Damn, I get that. I, I like some depth in that. My is titles. there's layers yeah. there, man. Hell yeah, that's for the real people who like really fuck with this. When I shit. thought of that, I was like, this is the only thing we can name our yeah, first album. We had mm-hmm. to. So like, it just kind of became the thing that we were, you know, channeling as we were like making this shit. The not even the swordfish part, but just like just the title, like just art. Us, like you know, what I'm saying, just I like, feel like yeah, I, I, I identify our duo more as Swordfish yeah. now because of that. That's the na- that's Absolutely. kind of the name of the group. That's the like the mad like villain, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like our Danger Mouse or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what was wrong with Slash Bass? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It was, it was right there. Was just I could tell by your face you really thought about it. You were like, you were still over there like gears are turning. <laughs> There's something there, dude. That's not bad. Ow, dude. I'm getting fucking cold. We were, we were debating the other day, like, so there's duplex. Uh, and then you got a triplex would be four places. Like, if there's six places in one house, would it be a sexplex? Sexplex. Yeah. Definitely a sexplex. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That's the name of our group. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we need a, a few more members. There you go. <laughs> Look, Is it you a got group if there's me, two? Me, Bass, and Terry, and then uh, we could get... Uh, we get Woodrow the bass head from down the street. Woodrow the bass head. Should, should he be on the podcast? No, nah, it's just some fucking ghost face killer title. Oh, yeah. Woodrow the bass head. We could find a bass head though. That's like plenty of them out here. In Long I'm Beach. curious, Bass. What are you using for? Can I call you Bass? Is that yeah? Right? Please call me Bass. Uh, <laughs> are you um, confusion? What are you using to make beats? Are you on FL or Ableton or Logic or? I use a machine. So. Oh damn, dude! I didn't even name it. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. I haven't. <laughs> not a single person. Who uses machine has been on this podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude, you're the first machine. Did you pay for machine? Oh, God, I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> you paid for? Oh, she paid for machine. She bought me my first machine. Damn. Um, in college, <laughs> my girl bought me my first machine. Wanted to get the MPC. She kept me clean. Oh. <laughs> This the one you can use with the computer. I do it and I do it and I d- d- do the thing. Oh uh, yeah, I'm the machine like Burt Kreischer. Kreischer. Yeah, every day I stay nice, sir. sir. What? I'm eating ice on fucking rice. What the fuck I'm doing on the machine? It's fucking dice. I'm rolling. Uh, I'm about to do it. I'm about to screw it. Bird box, Sandra Bullock. <laughs> yeah, blew it. Uh. Little bitch and she kinda stupid. Whoa! Yo, I'm Shoot. checking out the machine from Native Instruments. Yo, I'm native and I'm in this shit. Uh, it's got cool lights and it's only about six hundred <laughs> euros. Oh man, I'm uh, uh, flustered, bro. I've been native since age six, smoking uh, bricks. It. Native Instruments. I think I've got some plugins from them. Or yeah, something. they've got yeah. a huge, they like, got a huge plugin. List. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure when it comes to like uh, uh, DAWs, it goes Pro Tools as like the standard, and then there's a bunch of people using FL or Ableton. Then there's the Logic users, and then Machine it, is next up. Ma- yeah, machine. I feel like a lot of people use Machine inside of like Ableton or FL. Oh. Um. Um, so it's like they'll curious. use it as a plugin, but for what I use it for, it works. Just it is a standalone, though. Yeah, okay. so it has its own DAW. It's very rudimentary. Ooh, like, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, the, great... it's, it's the little. It's like the hardware you're saying. Like yeah, machine yeah. So is I the use hardware. the drum machine, but Understood. you can plug it into a computer. Like they make a standalone one now. No, no. I but... seen that video of, of of you guys performing, and you're just in the back, fucking. Using that was that the SP. That's on the SP four hundred four. Yeah, oh. that was the SP. Yeah. The only hardware that I have that that is worth naming is the Ableton Push too. 
which they just came out with the Push 3, which is a standalone. Mm-hmm. And that seems insane. And it's like $2,000, so it's not worth it. I barely utilize the Push to its full ability. I like... Man, $2,000. I feel like the Push yeah. has too many buttons. Like, the push, how do people keep track of... Right, but if you're doing? like... If, if you're well-versed in the software and you learn the hardware, you could do a bunch of shit live that's sick. You know, like uh, these dudes nowadays that... There's just one really popular guy. I think his name is Mark... Reb, yeah. Reb- oh my god, Mark that guy. He, <laughs> yeah, I love or like, him. Or like Reggie Watts is one of those dudes who does a lot of live looping. If you used uh, Ableton Push, you could do a lot of the stuff that they do live very effectively and probably more accurately. Like the Push has this whole setup where you can layer stuff and grab shit live. You're gonna start work. doing a uh, uh, Mark Ribolle style. It'd be better. For- <laughs> it'd be it'd be less corny. <laughs> gonna wake up. Gonna go outside. Gonna go outside and wake up. Gonna wake up and go outside. That- gonna wake up and go outside. You never That's know him. what might work for you, man. <laughs> We're Honestly, ba- I think he's like the next Steve Aoki, though. No, he's not, dude. What? Fuck. Okay. Fuck that. <laughs> You're gonna have to argue. I don't, argue, I don't know. I don't know enough about him to. No, no, I've I- only seen a few videos, and and my first impression is. This guy's corny as fuck. Right, but that's the reason he's successful is because obviously he's good at making music live and he's doing he's kind of doing what we're doing. It's off the top it's yeah, that, and then it's relatable. It, there's he's obviously like, talent there. It's it's kind of like that dude uh who does the beatboxing on Comedy Central. What's his name? With the big afro? Reggie um, Watts. Reggie Watts. I mentioned him. Reggie Watts is super talented, but I don't think that the music he makes is is living up to his potential kind of a thing where it's like I don't know. It's. That's I think it's all in the realm of funny music. You guys got to watch the YouTube video of Mark Rebier, Reggie Watts, and Flying Lotus all three way live looping the whole time, just right. like making I bet music. That's pretty that's cool. Sounds, it's fun. <laughs> like, it's fun in the moment. Like improv comedy slash music yeah. we're kind of we kind of hate i we hate sometimes we're yeah we're haters i do like that i'm a like. huge fucking hater yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I get, I get it's nice to hate me. sometimes i mean <laughs> i hate everything and everybody schadenfreude you gotta you yeah. gotta uh, put others down to build yourself up sometimes there's a period of time where my beard was longer and my hair was longer and and Reggie Watts was fatter, and people would be like, "You look like Reggie Watts." <laughs> Did he lose weight? <laughs> he lost weight. Oh, so he's skinny oh, now. Yeah, I think. He's, dude, I think his parents are white people in Montana. Is he, sk- oh, is he skinnier so. than you now, Dave? Uh, you know what? I might have some more muscle mass. Right. You, know, that, you know, you can't really look into the. BMI. I'm looking at Reggie Watts before and after. Yeah. Okay, I'm passing is. this around. Oh, uh, I thought to the left. Marco Polo he thing. said the BMI. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. Dude. Actually, Reggie Watts is like Jack now. <laughs> Jack? Yeah. Is he more Jack than yeah, me? He is. Look at yeah. yeah, he's jacked as fuck. Yeah. Jacked that's as that's fuck. a part. Oh, yeah, yeah. He yeah, actually yeah. also kind of he looks like out. you if you were jacked. He's working out, bro. He looks like Dave if, if Dave was jacked, essentially. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, dude. he's working out, dude. You got nothing <laughs> oh, on him. It's what I could be. That's got a glass filter. What do you think about that? Whoa. Nice. I, I wouldn't have even noticed if you hadn't said yeah, anything. But now dope. that you've said it, I appreciate it. I, I can tell immediately because it hits way hard. That almost looks like it would be your guys' merch. Yo, the shirt that my boy Bass wearing. Look, it's like a purposeful merch that they made intentionally. Token on the weed in the morning and the evening. Who's in up the next? evening. About to go ahead and do my fucking thief thing. Whoa. About to run up in your house, steal everything. Make a fucking sandwich in the mouth, taking the bling, Damn. boy. Yo, I made a sandwich because I'm robbing you. You know oh. me. I like to my sandwich uh, with some broccoli and maybe some mustard on that shit and a ketchup. I know I'm a basic bitch. Almost forgot the swordfish. Ooh. Gotta get that right on the sandwich. You know I'm rocking the dragon, but you gotta hop on that swordfish wagon. Ah, uh, so outlandish, I'm eating swordfish sandwich out in fucking Atlanta with a friend who doesn't speak Spanish. Never. Uh, hey. yeah, I try to teach her. And yeah, she said she used to be a teacher, a bleacher, ass. <laughs> I guess it's over. <laughs> and I get bleach. I get bleach on my T-shirt. I'm a feel like an asshole. Damn, dude, you should have jumped in. <laughs> no, that was, that, that's a reference. My favorite Nazi. We've been wanting to make stickers, and you guys, you know, are already on this shit. I just want to make our little pineapple. Yeah. What website do you use? Do you use a website? I use Sticker yeah, App. Yeah. <laughs> is, is this an like? Is this you vouching for them legit, or would you maybe jump ship if you found a better option? 
I mean, they're not paying me to say this. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they were. It works. It's, it is it's reasonably it's, priced to get like a hundred stickers made. What something. if What if you wanted them die cast? Is that the word where you have Which a custom shape? I think they have the option. I think they, they have, have the some, option. some yeah. shape options. Yeah, or you could always go to Vista Print too. Here, how about this? Let me move this grinder, and I'm going to pull up their website. You guys think that's interesting? Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it. but let's do it. Let's fucking <laughs> I'm do down. It. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't care about anything. I straight up podcast for myself. <laughs> I podcast for my own interests. There you go. Sticker app. Here you go, man. Sticker app. Is it sticker app? Oh, shit. We're Brought still, to you this by. This still going, goddamn. Oh, damn, there's a bunch of these. Okay, I'm going to click on the sponsored Spons- link, which I always try to avoid. Just so you know. Right. Man. It's always a scam or some shit. No, because you're... Okay, they have die cast. Except the cookies. Nice. cookies. What's the most I could spend? I want to spend a shit ton of money. All right, let's say you want to spend like $100, you know what I'm saying? 100 bucks. Hang on. I'm going to go custom. Ooh, 900 you, you, stickers for 100 bucks. Is that deal. what? Look, two thousand for one ninety. They might be doing a promo. Oh, here we go. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do a hundred. Here we go. Actually, I'm upload my file. Choose a file. Yeah. I'll do the pineapple. Yeah. Boom. There you go. Yeah. And I would. Damn. Bam, that fucking that spectrum internet that speed easy. got us fucking up and going immediately. Man, and will it will it cut around the the fronds? And yeah. okay, Ooh. it would be nice like to have that. it a, a little more precise. Right. Like I'd like that. more precision. What yeah. about that? You might be able to zoom. Where's the zoom feature? Oh, can I laminate? Yeah, you can. Oh, width right here. Well, no, that's just going to increase the overall size, I think. No, it won't. It might. Oh, really? Um, Maybe. I don't know. I'm the, he did, go, he did this shit when Razor. he did the stickers. I got the weed for you. Come on, oh, Bass. Shit, I, th- I thought you would know this, dog. <laughs> We're making stickers, folks. Yo, art. I just want to shout out the artist who made our logo. I forgot his name, and I don't think he's active on Instagram anymore. But Something strawberry? Sh- shout out that guy. Oh, was it something strawberry? I remember there there was like a strawberry involved in the branding, which is funny because we were a pineapple. So we got a strawberry drawing a pineapple. So like, like it's like Pride Month. Yeah, I mean. Something there. Uh, no, I agree. You're right. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. Oh, is it strawberry? Is <laughs> it's no. $91 for a shit ton of stickers, dude. Yeah, I don't like how that die cast okay, is. Okay, let's though. go to a different That's kind website. of a sloppy die cast. It, by die cast, I've never used that word. You mean I don't use it very often okay. either. You know, you but, just uh, use it to flex. Even on means. Right now. but yeah, it's a, it's that's a weird flex. I yeah. think that that is the proper word to use <laughs> when describing a the, the the sticker being cut around the, oh, the design. The outline you know okay, I mean? so yeah, the term, yeah. okay, maybe we fuck sticker app. We go back to the main search on Google. Well, I also know somebody in the city who like has a workshop where you can make your own shit. So we could support local. Can yeah, I? Uh, I got a little. To- local. I got a maybe a, a topic. It might dip into a little bit of xenophobia. A l- just a little bit. What is xenophobia? Uh, it's kind of like racism, but not as bad. Okay. <laughs> I feel like wall. Is being like, like anti-immigrant <laughs> or like anti like. Uh, I've heard the word so much, but I feel like people don't use words in the right context. He means context other people's anymore. xenophobia. Like uh, we're not gonna embody xenophobia. We're gonna oh, shoot, like be adjacent to it. It sounds like some alien. Like you'd be racist to aliens. Yeah, yeah. that's what I think. The of. xenophobes are coming to Earth. Because there's a show. I there's an anime I watch, and the aliens. One of the alien races is called xenomorphs. Oh, so I like that, the, I like that the Z. Aqua Teen. Uh, I want to say that's Dragon Ball, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. I know it was an anime I was watching. It was like Dragon Ball, like kind of like, and like one of the alien races is called a xenomorph or some shit like that. I'm like, but I've heard xenophobe too, and I'm like, I don't know what that word means because I feel like people just don't use words in the right context anymore. No, dude, people use <laughs> words incorrectly. Our friend Richard. That's why I try not to say shit. Oh shit. I'm using words incorrectly, and yeah, I'm feeling detective of vocabularies around the world. Uh, yeah, me and my girl, we speaking so profoundly sure. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I gotta pass it today. Uh, I'm feeling oh, great. Oh, let me take this shit. Uh-oh. Let me take your bitch. Whoa. Uh-oh. Maybe not. I'ma do it anyway. No, no. Okay. No, no. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I said that's it, so I gotta hit If she let me hit, I am lit And she need to spit, cause she's dry as shit Whoa. What's that bitch? Oh my god, I'm in Yeah, you know my friends And I'm home, and I'm with my friends And it never ends Whoa. Home with my friends, and it never ends This the best oh. friend song <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys <laughs> Hey, I have to. We had a banger in like two seconds. Oh yeah, man, we're like three for three right now. 
Hell yeah. Well, Wait, your, head- your headphones are being weird? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know. Oh, no. It's not something you got to like. Technical difficulties, you guys. Oh, my God. It sounds so much better. Oh, oh okay. wow. So you just it's, to- been, it's been fucked. Really? Fuck in my ears so hard. Oh, wow. Dude. But this whole time I was taking it like as, as like a Taoist challenge. I was like, oh, just. It was like the just Chinese the water torture. <laughs> yeah. I was like, just be in the moment and persist, dude. <laughs> so, you know, if you guys thought those freestyles were cool, I did it in spite of the obstacles. He was in pain the whole yeah. time. No, That's yeah, I'm, crazy. I'm usually in pain. It's because I'm too heavy for my feet. I, I brought up that thing, but then I realized <laughs> that I had lost the infographic that I had. Um, but it was about this. So, like a couple of weeks ago, there was a major train derailment in India, mm. well, and like hundreds of people were injured. A few people died. And maybe hanging and out outside of trains. Yeah, that. Yeah, um, and also it the cause of the derailment. Uh, was a pile of human feces. <laughs> Damn, dude. Is and, that true? Because I definitely saw like news about that too. But yes. That's I mean, that's what I was yeah. reading. And who knows? Maybe it's not true, but no, that's I, what I read. I'm that's pretty, what I'm just saying. No, no. I'm pretty sure it's an issue in India that there is trash and shit no, everywhere. It, it gets a little deeper, and this is where the xenophobia might come into play. Uh, according to this uh, chart that I saw on the, in the news article, in, in like rural India... 25% of the people shit in public in the streets. And that's well, like the rural areas of it. And so the, it was just a matter of time before a train just fucking flies off the rails because of human feces, right? So where's the xenophobia? Oh, you know, it's just I'm over here being like Indian people are sh- street shitters. Well, I, I didn't get that at all. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't get that. I was, I was you know waiting what? for something like... Kind of like I think he's the, he's being. I'm over, trying to cover all my bases right, so that I, at the end of the day I come. Well, off you did not say it was in it. India, so no, I he's mean, he's being cautious because you know some white ladies listen to this and fucking. You we know, got a white lady listening in, right now. No, no, not, I can not tell. This she's white, about white I personally <laughs> didn't hear anything offensive. Some older white lady in Santa Monica well, would hear this. They podcast can suck my like, dick. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, I was I was also sort of trying. I was kind of being attempting to be a little humorous by saying it would be xenophobic, but at the same time, I get. It, you know, we gotta. I appreciate you guys rectifying no, yeah, my yeah, yeah. shit. That's what best friends do. <laughs> they hold this each is other. This the best friend pod. <laughs> anyway, what do you guys think about all Indians being shit? Public sh- shit. Here's what shit, I've heard. Shit, I've heard shitters. that. You know how there's that that um that place where they all go and bathe in the river. There's that popular. I have no I, idea. It's like the it's like the Indian River. We're talking about the Fountain of Youth. There's some big <laughs> river. <laughs> fountain of Youth. Fucking Razor Fountain Christ over here, <laughs> full of the spirit. <laughs> You know how they go, oh my there's God. that river in India where they all go and they just like wash in public. You know how they shit in public? They wash in public mm, at this river yes. and they perceive it as like a place where they clean themselves. The river is apparently filthy. Like if a biologist went and looked at it, they would be like, this is actually dangerous. This, this is, is making bad. my stomach turn a little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. like, you just had taco so roto. Yeah, we did crush some tacos. I like had a torta and two tacos. Damn, dude, you pronounce torta like a fucking dude from Medellin, dude. That's, <laughs> That's beautiful. I can't speak a lick of fucking Spanish. No, I like how people from Spanish. No, you just Cal- said torta. Yeah. So you, sp- That's you speak Spanish a- for torta. sandwich, if I'm not I mistaken. think if I get, like, you know, if I get accustomed to it, my Spanish would be pretty good. I took a lot of Spanish classes. So. Oh, yeah, I like how people from SoCal have, you know, a good amount of Spanish you have in, their, to now. in their repertoire. I should have, have taken to. Spanish. It would have been way more useful in my life now. Uh, I took Japanese in high school like a dumbass. I wish I would have. T- I wanted to take Japanese. You couldn't. They cut it right before I wanted to take oh, it. Oh, that's too bad. Have yeah. you been to Japan? No, I've huh. never been. I only took it because like my best friend was also taking it. So I was like, all right, boys, we're going to take we're gonna There's a lot of Japanese, Japanese culture in Hawaii. Yeah, that is true, oh. but it's not like they speak Japanese over there. Polynesian. Just, yeah, it's a lot of it, mostly that. But the food, yeah, all the stuff that's good, it's usually from some Japanese shit. Uh, katsu, yeah, you know that teriyaki, that's too good to be true. I love that Hawaiian food. Uh, shout out my man's Terry. Uh, yeah, thinking about too much teriyaki's kind of scary. Mm-hmm. I think I, I heard it makes your back hairy. And yeah, I used to watch that dude Larry, the cable guy. Uh, ate a torta and two tacos. Oh, I'm about to go in Morocco. Wipe my snob nose. Cause I got a couple boogers. I'm about to eat a whopper from them. I don't know. <laughs> 
eating sloppy, food on my shirt. <laughs> Look in the mirror, it hurt. Ooh. Didn't even know, thought you were my friends, didn't tell me. <laughs> now I'm walking around looking stupid. God damn. <laughs> Dope shit. Uh, Dope shit. I, I feel like... Uh, I've definitely caught myself with like some dried food from the night before on a, on a shirt that like say I just woke up in the morning and I've slept in the shirt and I just like maybe go down to the store to get something real quick and then on the way home I'll look down and just, be, just be covered in shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, your I, shirt is made of mustard. Yeah, I'm like I can't believe I left the house looking, looking like, like that. It's yeah, yeah. like a baby. I think one of the main issues is we're we're over saucing our food. If you're using sauce less. Then you reduce statistically the risk. Lots of napkins and don't let anybody okay. see you eat. I have an issue about <laughs> I have an issue about eating in secret, actually, because my mother was always like, Don't eat that because I was always fat as a kid. <laughs> and then now as an adult, I've adapted and my like yeah, habits he, are he, too. He's a good covert eater. I ingest many calories quickly and secretly. Yeah. In a way that is like extremely <laughs> That's effective. why my girl hates that I eat so fast. She's like, you eat so fast. I'm like, I don't want you to see me get the fuck down <laughs> on this shit. It's like, a vulnerable it's moment. It's about to get and it, you're, nasty. That's a, that's a evolutionary defense mechanism. I'm trying to get all this food in me so that I can quickly get back to finding more food. You that know, I need to be too. on the go to get the food. Yeah. No, nobody's can, can I'm glad you didn't watch me eat that torta. It got kind of fucking nasty. I watched you. Uh, I no, that's how I know your guys' friendship is legitimate. <laughs> yeah, he was. I mean, he was like, like he had a hand really on your funny. knee while you were eating it. <laughs> I was living vicariously. I didn't get a torta. Oh, okay. What'd you I was get? Like, how is that? Thing? What'd you get? It's just fine. I got uh, two al pastor and one carne asada taco. I feel like that's, that's equal. That's a good. He's way never to been to this taco truck though. Where is it? Let's shout them out. Where is it? It's what's. It's called Rodo, but so Tacos they moved. El Rodo. It, but they were on ocean right there, off of Pine, until that Ruth's Chris opened up. Fuck Ruth's Chris. On, I don't like. I've how never it. even been to Ruth's Chris, yeah, so I can't that. say that. It looks like a hot dog. As the they logo. have hot dogs too, though. Which okay, is weird, but it's mostly the like name Mexican is. Ta- oh, but it's food. a hot dog eating a taco, so I guess it works. Damn, that's trippy, dude. They have a bacon wrapped taco, that's but everything fun. else is I like, like that. tacos, quesadillas, that fries, and then yeah. Oh, he's eating the taco next to the uh, pastor wheel, mm-hmm. which is nice. Yeah, I'd be man. pretty stressed out if I was in the Mexican food business because of how much competition exists. Like you There's can't like if, if you go to a Mexican not place just restaurants and they're closed, you can just literally turn around and there'll be a man offering you a taco on like the street anywhere. <laughs> the, the, the competition is so high. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd rather sell beats online. You know what I'm saying? Ah, shit, that's, that's even beats hard online? too. You selling beats online? Uh. A little bit here and there. It sucks, right? I give most of my stuff to Razor for free now. <laughs> well, I mean that that makes more sense because then it's because nobody out, else is rapping like me. Fuck these niggas. No, no, that's the original. We're in a band. <laughs> we're in a band. No, no, yeah. that's, a soul that's bond. the yeah. Uh, that's the original beats online. Is oh, you, hook me up, dog. That's the original like actually investing in artists, and then if they grow, then you grow with them, and that's. The bullshit about the internet is that it makes it seem like you're gonna shortcut your way to success. Sorry to cut you off. Do cut you, me off. Do you want to tell them how like we kind of like got together and shit? Oh, yeah, tell us the genesis. Because I know like yeah, I, that sure. question was gonna. Like, you yeah, at, you can tell the short. You guys version. were at a swordfish restaurant. Yeah, yeah you gotta like be that. careful. I'll get. Too, uh, just an aside though, people. isn't it kind of convenient that Exodus came right after Genesis? No, no, yeah, they, they they really uh, ordered those books properly. Anyway, let's uh, let's go, let's let's learn about <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, you can tell this short. <laughs> okay, my boy Shofi, shout out to Shofi. Shout out Shofi. Met him in New York, going to concerts. I grew up in New York and okay. moved out here. It's the concrete years jungle ago. where dreams are made of. Uh, yeah. Legend. Um, <laughs> so he told Zay to hit me up for beats. Zay hit me up. I sent him like twenty beats. Was like, let me know if you want to buy one. Damn. Um, Off it was like rip. a little back and forth. Eventually, I just like posted a beat on Instagram, and he was like, "I need that one today." I was like, "Okay, thirty Damn. bucks." Bought it, made like just one of my favorite songs I ever heard. Um, What's and, the track? Is it available? Yeah, it's on SoundCloud. Is uh, is it called "I Went Fishing by the Lake One Day"? I believe. I'll so. put it I'll, if you guys are listening. I'll put it in the show notes so you guys can click on it. <laughs> we, could, we could have it at the end of the pod. We'll <laughs> yeah. have that as our outro. Okay, yeah, it's on too. SoundCloud. Yeah. yeah. So I heard that, and I was just like, "Yo, this is so good." Here's just like a ton more beats and let's yeah. Just so do after this the thing. additional twenty he sent me already, sent me like fifteen more. So I already had like thirty five beats from this. Place. Let me say this real quick: as a producer and a person who's tried to like get people to hop on beats or buy beats, you want to 
get people on beats more than you want to sell beats. So yeah. as soon right. as somebody's like, yeah. yo, I fuck with this, I'm like, oh yeah, literally like, I'll make every single beat for free for Woo! the rest of my life. And that's not generosity. It's me being selfishly interested in me successfully moving into the future. Don't you see? Ooh. Oh, let me get the sword. Let me chop some shit. You uh, already know I'm coming with that swordfish shit. shit. Me and Bass, Alex and David sitting at the table, like a round table, fucking running the scene. Knights of the round table. We got swords and we got fishes. Yeah. And we're good with words Whoa. And we over here And yeah, it's absurd The way that we rap And yo, and it's We're not nerds Sword and the fish Cooking up the sushi Being funnier than Jim Belushi <laughs> Or was it John? Which one was in the the frat movie John <laughs> John and Jim I like both of them I'm fucking hanging out With my friends Out in Requiem For a dream oh. universe I'm eating uh, tuna out of purse What? Uh, playing Marvel vs. Capcom that's it. That, that's perfect. Fuck <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's important. Um, can we like ah, keep going? Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> I, I want to take a break was, after you're done with your story. Yeah, I mean oh, that, yeah, was, that was that was. I mean that was history. yeah. The rest that is day. history. Okay, yeah, yeah, is hit the hit him with the crush. Okay, 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 cool. Right, yeah. Pee break. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. And we're back. Um, uh, I peed. That was it. No one else peed. I didn't pee. You're right. Oh yeah, I peed too. We have <laughs> someone from the Peanut Gallery peed. I didn't have to. Shout out. Do you guys need me to use a coaster? I oh, here, you can I use don't this coaster, coaster, and I'll just do this. Here, yeah. Coaster, we, coaster. Sure. It doesn't matter. Actually. Space goes coaster, coaster. Yes, yeah, sorry. Where, where do you see Ghostface? <laughs> uh, this place. First of all, dopest set of my life. Uh, were you always I a, a heavy to, ghost head fan? Like you listen, uh, ghost, ghost fan? Ghost, so head, I'll, I'll ghost say head giver. Were you always I'll a ghost head? <laughs> <laughs> That's good, right? Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I'll say this. I wasn't always a heavy ghost face fan. I listened to him when I was a kid coming up on different verses with like MF Doom or sure. like, you yeah. know, some a couple of underground shit. I did listen to like very small parts of Supreme Clientele before yeah, I the, knew that's, that's the before I consciously knew what it was and like knowing what music is today or what knowing what I know now. Yeah. Um <clears throat> so once I got like a little older, I wouldn't say I became a fan of Ghostface until shortly after high school because then i started listening to iron man and then i yeah. like went back and listened to like bulletproof wallet and then you and but you always had that shit. kind of that respect of like oh yeah, absolutely I get, I get like this not, a, absolutely like i always knew who he was like knew he was part of wu-tang you know all that shit but like i just like to me he was like my favorite mc out of the whole yeah. like you know in, triad of in mcs tw in 2016 shit. alex went through like a ghost face renaissance and like yeah was just chowing on the albums oh, <laughs> and he yeah. was and he was like well, his album, um, the Thirty Six Seasons, is yeah. so fucking cool because yeah. it's like an opera, That's just cool almost. as fuck. Yeah. And he also has songs on there that he really doesn't have anything to do yeah. with. One of them is just like an old, uh, like an old soul song, a thin line between. He just has a That's thin line between right. love and hate on there. It's a thin line, and it's not. It's just <laughs> it has it's not his wish, song. No. He didn't yeah. write it. He didn't do anything. It's just on hey, the but album. He probably got that shit cleared the fuck up. Right, though. but it was yeah. because it contributes to the story that he's telling overall, which and is just so the whole crazy. vibe of like the album itself. Like, I don't know, man. Like Ghostface to me, like is. It, I don't know. He's fucking hard, dude. Well, I feel like it's hard. it's not it's a lost art to care about the album. You like, mentioned yeah. uh, MF Doom, and they have a ton of songs together, and they were yeah. they were teasing uh uh, uh what was it? Do Iron Doom, Doom Face or oh, something yeah. like that, Ghost Doom or <laughs> or something like uh, that. That was gonna be their collab album. They teased it for years, and it uh, never it never came to fruition. Man, you know how. But luckily, hard that shit been. oh my god, it would have been so good. But luckily, they have enough songs together to where it's basically an a, album's a whole worth. project. You could just put together a playlist and kind of put it in your mm -hmm. head did yeah. you guys did you guys try to make the project continuous and fluid or was it kind of just songs that you put together i'll let him answer that one okay uh i feel like it's pretty continuous like we had little vocal pieces here and there sure. just random cartoon shit okay little interludes okay so there's there's kind of like that that's the <sighs> that's one of the our biggest tools that we use when when making songs is like little bits of movies or skits it's and shit fun like to th or, or even instead of an ad lib throw a little sound effect in there right quick yeah. Or yeah yeah that's actually that's one of the things when i make songs by myself i kind of lack and then we'll make a song together and he'll be like what if we do this here and that little fucking thing that seems like it doesn't we'll matter like change the whole will up level the song so drastically mm -hmm. 
and then you know you get you feel you feel inspired i feel like when i was more so writing and making trying to make the music itself i wasn't really thinking about continuous i was just like making the music there's wow. definitely some songs that like you know. i think even just having two specific people working together during a set period of time that in itself that's kind of the concept we live in long beach and i'm spitting over beats and uh, smoking hella reed hella reefer with my friends uh yeah let's not pretend that this project isn't continuous i'm blowing sets uh i got the cash sit with my man named bass Whoa. about to go ahead strip club get some ass uh. Stanky ass bitch, now nah, I'm about to pass. Oh, he passed it to me, but I don't really want it. But I guess I gotta <laughs> rap right now. I gotta stun it, you know it. I'm um, drinking Michelob Ultras, bitch. It's a superior light beer. I'm a superior white queer, and I'm over here <laughs> drinking everything that I can get my hands on. And I uh. bought my chain from Johnny Dang. <laughs> okay. Bass ain't jumping in today, but I don't play. I ain't gonna say something wrong or something gay like my friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's... That was actually some good wordplay. I thought right it was about to end when the drum tro- no, no, dropped I, out. I think it's, it's totally fine. And if I was a, if I was a, like a better person, I would have just rapped and not called you out. That's my insecurity <laughs> that I'm projecting Damn, onto you. I have to protect my character. <laughs> yeah. here. I think it's totally legitimate for you to not rap. That was big of you to yeah. admit that, Dave. Yeah, yeah that's, it kind of feels like rap rape for me to force right. you to rap. Chill. Okay. That's the Edgy story. Dave. <laughs> I want to get the soundboard involved. Yeah, it's been a while. Dave. I always forget to use the soundboard. Here's the thing. Continuous projects that have a overarching concept don't fit the model of music consumption nowadays like yeah if the goal is to like get into uh some type of fan base you're better off to just throw singles out one by one by one by one Mm -hmm. and then once you have a little bit of traction you can be like all right i'm gonna put on an album but i feel like that it was a lot more important back in the day to have a cohesive project yeah people could listen for more than a minute and 45 seconds you guys have a bunch of short songs i feel like that's good i yeah. like the short song model well that's kind of how like punk rock used to be it'd be almost just like a minute and 20 seconds max of a song it's just blah, 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 and then it's done right and then you I kind to, of fuck with that vibe and you have to listen you to it 150 that. times right it, it makes it the re-listen a little easier because it's over and you're like yeah but i do i do think there are some songs that you're like man i wish this was longer yeah so it yeah. really it's definitely not a universal take by any means but i, I feel I, like 230 245 that's a sweet spot more yeah. than that you're being a fucking asshole yeah. like i mean fucking some people minutes. have like nine minutes on nah, there those, those people are jerk off sometimes they can be pretty fucking cool though no you're right i'm, I'm just trying on, to- on like a concept album or something there could be a nine minute song that like has different little things yeah. going on that fucking end up i was trying to be controversial let me read you some beats uh, uh yeah we didn't read like the last um uh, silent by dawson Hellbound by Antidote, Business by Noisy with a Z, Black Hole by Low Tie, Shot Kill, no, Shot a Kill by DJ Cream, and Nocta by Louie. What do you got? DJ many, Cream? DJ Cream, get the money, dude. <sighs> um, the Cream Dream. How many beats are left? Uh, we got five left. Okay, that's it. I got it perfect. Oh, you, ever, that's nice. you ever snag some beats from YouTube? Like I've stolen them? My <laughs> early career, I was like... <laughs> I was snatching those shits from YouTube. Like, my first maybe two or three mixtapes on SoundCloud or, like, YouTube. Beats. I used to straight up just write raps over, like, popular beats. Like, I'd be like, oh, hey, this is, like, for an example, I never actually did this, but, like, oh, I'd just be like, oh, Lil Wayne. Right. And then it would Six just. Foot seven. Yeah, I'd just rap over that or whatever. I feel like <laughs> if the song's already been made, like, if it's a good, if it's a good song, like, or if I feel like, like, if I don't have the thought of, like, okay, I can do this better, like. Or I can do this my own way and it'll still sound dope. I, I was thinking I could do it better. And when I definitely wasn't. I think that's the whole uh, concept behind the mixtape or SoundCloud is to yeah. take popular beats and then kill them again. Because at that point, you're like, okay, okay I know that this beat has uh, the possibility of becoming yeah. popular because it already is. And then I just Well, SoundCloud, it. I think, started for DJs originally. Gotcha. Uh, did, you, did you know that? I didn't know okay, that. Okay, so I actually read this. I want to say a couple years ago, but SoundCloud actually started for DJs. The guy who made it, uh, I don't know if he's the CEO or whatever, but the guy who created SoundCloud 
was a DJ. So he created it for DJs to post their mixings. Um, and it just ended up being like people uh, just posting. A music that exactly. is kind of in like 10 years ago when I was more into SoundCloud, the 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 playlists were kind were of more DJ mixed. Like house music, kind yeah. of electronic. Well, there would or there just would like be DJ D- mixes. Yeah, like. yeah, there would still be like hip hop stuff and all that, but it would be all they would flow into each other and mm-hmm. whatnot, and it would be a long ass playlist. Yeah, but at some point, it just became a platform. Yeah, Which I is, feel like it's interesting to me now because y- there's a lot more wiggle room on SoundCloud that like you can post sparkling shit. wiggle room. You can post more random shit that isn't um, as put together or like over any beats. And it's weird because you can also monetize on SoundCloud. So I wonder if you post something over a diff- a beat that you don't have the right to. I think he just started monetizing. Right, but on like you, your shit is shit that you have rights to, or like samples that are hidden enough to where they can't detect it. But I'm pretty sure if you try to monetize something over a popular beat and you submit for monetization, the system will be like, oh no, this is a Kanye beat. Oh. You can't. Do that. Yo. You can't be stealing beats from Ye every day. Otherwise, we're gonna decline your monetizing request that you put in. We detest everything you stand for. You're not the best. Fuck you. Feeling good on make a low ultra. Whoa. But I really need some culture for my brain. For my little kids so they don't feel the rain and little ass things. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know what we're rapping about, but it's okay. I'm gonna just start rapping out of my mouth, and it's uh, it's a rhymes, and there's rippity raps, and it's time, and you know it's a fact that I'm gonna be turning on a dime, and I'm learning and trying. Yo, I'm growing, it's fine. Yo, every single day is a new blessing. You gotta be out here trusting and be loving. <laughs> we ain't never stealing beats, never. <laughs> Cause we always making heat. Uh, sorry for hogging the beat there, man. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to preach, man. Like, he was trying to like get his like what? like voice out. Like. Razor don't gotta steal beats; he gets them for free, dude. Razor's <laughs> locked in. I actually I hit up Razor a couple weeks ago and was like, "Yo, I'm gonna send you some beats," and he was like, "Yeah, for sure." And then I looked through the beats that I have, and I was like, "All oh, these beats suck." <laughs> I was waiting, bro. I was like, I was wondering what happened. No, no. So, and, I don't press here's, you, here's the problem. So I was like, "Oh, I gotta make some more beats to get better at making beats." And then as soon as I felt like I was a little bit better at making beats, every beat that I made that I really liked, I would just start rapping over it. Oh uh, yeah, I'd be, like, I'd be like, "Oh, I can't send him this one." No, and then I'm like, "Oh, I can't send him this one." <laughs> it's been like four beats now. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Where just, I just, I just randomly just say you're not gonna beats, send me beats. Dave, it's okay. Yeah. Just <laughs> say you, just say you're not. Gonna, look. What dude, you need look. to do is make make one and be like, "This, the one I'm making right now is it's the for one Razor. It doesn't matter how yeah. fucking good it is." You know, and then the other the other anxiety I had was. Oh, I gotta make like ten of these because he's not gonna he's not gonna like the one that I sent yeah. him. That one's probably gonna suck. So I got caught up being like, oh, I gotta make like at least ten beats before nah, I send him bro. a pack. Slowly but yeah, surely. Yeah. Well, now I'm just gonna I'll I'll make it a priority. I'll just make. Why it Why don't you extend that shit and and give it to him for a second verse? You're right. I could do that as well. I could do that as well. Yeah, I also man. um I have this other insecurity when writing music where I'm like, dude, you can't write thirty two bars. Are you really that big of there a is, bitch? Once you've written one really good verse for the topic of the song that you're writing, it's hard to write a second really good verse. No, it's a for nightmare. Same- Every now and then we'll write something, and then Absolutely. because there's two of us, we'll be like, all it right, works. dog, yeah. it's, your, it's your turn. <laughs> it's your turn to not drop the ball for 8 to 16 at least, and it kind of splits the responsibility. But So that's the other issue that I have. Well, I'll write a song. I can't do three verses. Three verses is ridiculous. It's like... Eminem in 2003 but I'll do two verses at least and they're either 8 eight to 16 bars mm. and so after I finish 16 I feel like a bitch if I hand it off I'm like bro you can finish this <laughs> and then I, I'm like trying to compete with myself on some Michael Jordan shit maybe you <laughs> should embrace your inner bitch no yeah I, I, I wear heels at night so <laughs> all right that's that didn't work. Okay. I, heels so heels aren't for bitches. No, they're they're for uh, they're for bad bitches. They're for bad <laughs> bad baddies. Uh, they're called. Yeah, I'm fucking crazy. I was telling uh, Bass the other day. In addition to what you're saying about the writing thing, uh, I don't feel like this anymore. But I was kind of telling him at first, like, damn, I feel like after Swordfish, even though it hasn't dropped yet, mm. like I feel kind of wrapped out. Sure. And even though it's my first like album and official project, like I've done mixtapes and shit before this, so yeah. that's cool. But like, I was like, "Fuck!" Like, what do I say now after this? And he was just like, 
What did you say? I guarantee. You. <laughs> what put did you say? Put yeah. me on the spot like that? Yeah. You don't remember the wisdom that you dropped on your <laughs> boy? Make sure you speak in this podcast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> boy's putting me on Are the Are you spot. known for not speaking? Is that what it is? Nah, I just want to like, I've been here before. Okay, okay. You want to give him a turn. My I get man it. just wants to give me the platform. No, that's Absolutely. nice. I appreciate that. Golden mics, man. Nah, so, I mean, just having fun with it. Absolutely. Like, the beats that I make are all short for the most part. Yeah. Because, like, when I make uh, tape, I just want people to hear, like, a lot of different ideas. And, like, if someone loves something and wants me to extend it, we can do that. But and is it mostly is it mostly sampling? Like, are yeah, you yeah. And are you sampling, like, online? Or are you grabbing records? Like, what's that? I like buy that? a lot of dollar records. Okay. Oh, man. So much fun. But I, like, I'll also just I, plug my phone right into oh, the machine and just like push it sick. on Spotify. I, I think the hardware definitely plays a, a, a part in you like being able to sample and have more fun with it. Yeah. My boy put me on to like these radio apps. So you ever use Splice? You can like go on a globe, like scroll oh, around on I it. I have that. <laughs> and hear music from different parts of the world. Damn. That's so, crazy. You ever use Splice? I did in the past, but not nah, really. you're not, you're not is, fucking is, with it. Is that the app you're talking about? Radio uh, Garden. Radio Garden, and yeah. there's one that's like radio with like five O's. Radio Garden is cool because uh, I can tune into yeah. the old Hawaiian stations every now and then back home. <laughs> yeah, see what they're playing right now too, yeah. which right. is cool. I see. What's your beef with Splice? Money. I personally don't even. Fuck oh, you don't want to pay for it. Yeah, if I'm gonna pay for samples, I'd rather go to the record shop. No, no, or that's like, cool. I that's buy, a good I idea. buy like artist drum kits from an artist that okay. I'm a fan of. So you'll but do then a one-time purchase. Forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, no, well, drum kit. It's just like, what's the point Drums. of having more than fucking ten drum kits? Right. It's like it's, ten. It's, that's generous. Yo, one's Latin, one's boom bap, and you know maybe you get one or two of that, and then maybe you add a little soul or R and B, but you know maybe nine to ten, that's plenty. Uh, I need the swum drum kit and the count, you know his drums hit. Ooh. Uh Decap got the knock. Yeah. Gotta make the fattest beats on the block. I get my drums <laughs> from the slums, yummy to yum. Yeah, yo, you know they all come for free Whoa. when I uh, get them pirating on the lime wire. Yo, that's my thing. Yo, drums that knock by Decap. I've been on that for like since way back. In 2000 and ass Whoa, I got class smoking brass Since 2000 and ass I've been doing this shit real fast Oh my god Yo, I graduated top of the class hey, When it comes to mouth, bro. I can't help but fucking laugh like, Alex makes me fucking laugh Hell yeah I don't know what It's because the rest He's of- not funny. <laughs> Sorry guys The rest of us are trying to be all cool and shit Rapping and Alex is like Alex yeah, just does his yeah, fucking yeah. I, th- I think I'm the only one doing it the proper way no, What yeah. are we doing here? This no, is, We're entertaining people here you're folks, agenda, right? Bro. Come on you're the and, blueprint You know, it's like I have fun also rapping well Like that my, like, <laughs> I'm trying to well, I'm, no one has fun listening to it, yeah, Dave. Right. <laughs> right. I should fucking tell myself. No, it's fine. I um, I forgot what I was saying. Splice. So the reason I like Splice, I also pay for it. So you're right. That sucks. And for some reason, like if the membership is thirteen ninety nine, they still tax you on the membership. So Absolutely. Paying like seventeen dollars, whatever. So the reason I'm willing to pay for it, at least for a period of time, is to be like, let me just get some reps in real quick. And not get too in my head about finding crazy fucking alchemist quality samples. I'm just like, let me just grab a couple of these fucking jazzy samples. And then I don't even fuck with them too much. I'm like, all right, let's put some reverb on this. Let's chop it up a little bit. Just grab a fucking loop and then just throw the beat on. And then all of a sudden, it's 11 a.m. I'm smoking a blunt in my apartment rapping in the mirror and my girlfriend's like yo what's going on in there i'm like leave me alone i'm the man Shut the fuck up, Mom. Yeah. and um, get out so i think like for that reason being able to get into the groove faster i think is good when you're a person who wants to rap but i get that gotta um, get the practice yeah. i'll use i'll use like sample packs sometimes it's fun fuck with cymatics a little bit you know cymatics i definitely have heard the name they got a couple they got a couple good packs i hate their What's it called? What's it's called Cymatics. They Cymatics. they it's it, they sell k- sample packs to producers. I want to say I have. One they also do two. this bullshit click funnels thing that that makes me pissed. But they do it well, where they just like run ads to their packs and or they trick you and they'll be like, "This one's free." And oh, like, and then once you get to the yeah. landing page, they're like, 
Oh, but you could spend ninety seven dollars yeah, on something yeah. that's usually four ninety nine crossed out, and then here's a bunch of reviews of <laughs> other rappers like you who aren't famous who loved it. And it nah, I hate bad. that. That's not nah, that's some scammer <laughs> shit to me. That's just as bad as the motherfuckers who like hit you up and talk about like promote your picture on fucking. Oh yeah, I know you guys get those shits a lot. Yeah, you want to have ten k followers, my friend? Dave, right. do you do you remember the ad that I got this sound we bite from? Banger in like two seconds. Oh yeah, it's from Kyle Beats. Yeah, so Kyle Beats, I guess, is made like a plugin. A, he, it's called the drip plugin. The drip. I've seen the drip plugin like ads on Instagram. <laughs> <That's>, really? <laughs> well, I thought the ad was so funny because of just how he he did the thing, and then he ends. He like you know does some whatever bullshit on his on the basically just making an AI beat with yeah. the plugin thing. Yeah. He's just like, yeah, we just made a banger in like two seconds. <laughs> well, and there's this movement of it, it, YouTube, not YouTube producers, producers who are YouTubers first. So it's like they're they're making beats so that they have something to put on YouTube. They're not on YouTube right. because they make beats. So it's like this reverse. That, that dude What's has placed. He does like tutorials like, and stuff. What's the this, difference? It, it, you most, make beats either way. Right, people, right, you're right. It doesn't make a difference. But okay. people who make it's beats. It's an extra level of monetization. People who make beats and then uh -huh. get placed. You don't see the alchemists fucking doing a tutorial on YouTube okay. about how to be cool. You okay. know what I'm saying? Just okay. smoking blunts okay. with Larry okay. June being I, a I fucking fuck gangster. So there's like a I lack of in, there's not a lack of integrity but it's like this fucking Gen Z bullshit like let me get YouTube ad revenue. There's this guy on YouTube who I was like kind of looking at for a while and I started to kind of feel like why the fuck am I watching it? I know how to do this shit. Right. If, if you're so good like, at doing this shit why, why are, you are you on YouTube? Not, it, not That's not why I had the thought. I just was like... I think the alchemist actually has, is doing like a master class right now. Right, but but that's not, but that's not, a master class you have to pay for, and you right. it's, it's online in a sense of like well, it's yeah. a one on one on your not, computer. It's he doesn't, not on but you YouTube. get paid for YouTube if you're getting no, no, enough yeah. views. But yeah. it's just subscribers. I, the the embarrassing aspect of YouTube where you're like. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. That's what. Yeah, <laughs> Make sure you subscribe yeah. to the channel. I might as well be a fucking queen. <laughs> you know it's, it's it's the most annoying thing. And sometimes <laughs> you the, don't have to do that, though. I guess you could be. But I mean, I, I follow a lot a of YouTubers, intro. and like, none of them are like that. <laughs> I think I guess the stereotype of doing it. That no, way. you're not you wrong. Gotta watch. You gotta watch John Wayne. Uh, oh, I love John Wayne making yeah, beats on John YouTube. Wayne that shit is, is so good. Okay. The yeah. the song TED Talk makes me homicidal like i want to go in the street and start assaulting people because of how hard it is have you heard john you know what he's, he's talking about yo it's basically this white dude with a beard and a deep voice yeah and he makes fucking sick noise it's the hottest yo I'm, i want to become a jihadist <laughs> I'm a jihadist. Uh, this beat is the jihadist I've ever seen. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm working with a goddess, and she's rubbing on my spleen. Uh, uh, my spleen on fire. Yes. Yep. Uh, back to LimeWire. Mm -hmm. I've been torrenting plugins and hugging bitches' cousins. Yeah, you know I'm eating muffins. David, listen, you got a couple <laughs> problems. What the fuck you talking about in this fucking song, bro? Like. <laughs> You gotta know, you gotta know, you gotta know. Hey, David, my bro, you gotta reel it in. Yo, I'm saying this to you as a friend. I'm coming to you as a man who respects and doesn't want to see you meet your death. He's my bro took it too far. <laughs> Bastion have brought up John Wayne, dude. dude bro, that John Wayne's fire. You make you feel like that, bro? Yeah, dude, John Wayne's one of those people who, when I first heard him, I remember, th I remember thinking you to myself, feel violent? no, 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 I, I was obviously exaggerating. Nah, nah, it's that stank face. You just yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. You stank like, face. You just like, 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 like yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean. <laughs> oh my god. No, yeah, yeah just uh, nah, I think someone wants to like murder a bunch of children. It's obviously. in it's it's in his blood. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, yeah, at yeah this, you know these desert people. You know, no, oh, I it, when That's I crazy. first heard because I was really into uh, Stones Throw for a period of time because I think they had Mad Lib, and then there was like, I forget what other uh, people were on there, but There's so I started listening to like Homeboy Sam. Oh yeah, yeah, I listened to Homeboy <laughs> Sam, man, and I listened right. to um, a couple other people, and then I just bumped into John Wayne, and I was just like, this is just some non-cool 
fat white nah, dude he's cool. with a beard. Well, <laughs> he's like, nah, he's, he's not cool. cool on the surface. It's like one of these people that I mean, you if would, you just saw him at Starbucks. Right, if like, you saw him at Starbucks, you'd be you like, that dude twice, is like. objectively not cool. And <laughs> yeah. then he's just like, let me get in front of the mic real quick. And then he starts just saying oh, crazy shit dude. in the coolest voice. And it's like, I don't know. It's like when it's like when Chinese people see a white person speaking Chinese, they're like, "Oh, yeah, they're like hella yeah, impressed." That's yeah. a really good right. example. That so. was the perfect analogy. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you like if little Oriental kids were making fun of you? <laughs> oh shit! What the fuck? That's such a random button to have. Like, <laughs> we've got it. <laughs> that's Bobby Bacala from The Sopranos. Oh, shit. You watch uh, The Sopranos? Fuck. I can't get into it. I've tried God, many, stop many, fucking many times. Saying that, bro. I can't nah, wait. because you, you know what? Mindset. I just uh, I just watched the Twitter debate between two friends about the Sopranos and why it's good and why it's bad and all this other shit. And you know what? I tried to watch. I really, I legit. How many episodes? Five, and I can't get into it. Damn. Five. I, I five. So well, I think the blacks it, and, and the Italians further, have beef. I get further every no. time, but it's like and the he, first episode. The very first time I tried to watch the first episode wasn't. I just couldn't wrap it. My head around it. I'm just shaking Went my back. head at you the whole time. Fuck you. I don't know. I don't He's care. from New York. He's from New York. He gets it. I don't you guys care. watched The Offer? The Oh, um... Oh. It's no, like the new either. show about the making. Of oh, I've seen the poster. The poster looks so dumb that I was like, <laughs> I can't watch it. But I'm sure there's a bunch of interesting behind the scenes stuff that I wouldn't know about. I was against it, but Sammy put me on. To oh, it. And, um, and good, and good reviews. Slapper? Very enjoyable. Okay. Like. <laughs> I'd rather the mob was making threats at them for making the movie and like Whoa. it's hard it's hard to get behind at first like watching actors play actors and sure. shit but sure. like once you get past that it's a really like entertaining you've story. seen all the sopranos though yeah. all of it yes you've seen all the sopranos oh, yeah. bro i got james so he's got some right here. Pr- multiple oh sopranos and i got that i got the bada bing all of it bada yeah. bing yeah. multiple you've seen times you've seen all, okay i just i guess it's just me i can't get into well it, the dude is kind of racist yeah. I don't no, care about I don't care about the racism <laughs> aspect of it. It's like I've watched plenty of shows like in movies where it's like, you know, like racism roots and all that. I think shit, a big whatever. part of have it. Have you seen have you seen The Godfather? Uh I knew you were gonna say no. Hold on. Cause you would remember. Okay, yeah, <laughs> no. Okay, you know what? I fuck it up and don't crucify me, especially you. We have to robot chicken you with your yeah, eyes open. I yeah. fuck it. Uh, I show you all the mob I mix, movies. I mix Godfather up with Goodfellas. You seen that? Goodfellas yeah, is that's better. My favorite than it's the my Godfather. favorite. I, fuck you, pay me. <laughs> right, like right, when he says, my favorite like, scene is what I'm sorry to cut you. My right. favorite scene is when they're all sitting around the table in the club and shit. And he's like, Pesci, you a funny? He's like, uh, he's like, oh, you yeah. a funny guy. He's like, what the fuck? Like, funny he, how? Right. And he was so just funny like, about me. He was like, he was like, like you a know, clown. Get your fucking shine right. box. Like, ha ha funny. <laughs> he was like not having it. And even though it was like, oh, like I was just, I got this guy. Like they were like. I'm thinking to myself, like, he's about to fucking kill this dude. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny when <laughs> and he does. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny when in the narration, Ray Liotta's like, that's Johnny two times because he says everything two times. Yeah. And then Johnny's walking by and he goes, I'm going to go get the papers. Get the papers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm. That I'm, movie is. I can confidently say Goodfellas is better than that, Godfather. As far as my movies are concerned. I got to watch The Godfather and then I say, but I just like, I like Joe Pesci as an actor. I've seen him in other shit, Home Alone, all the other shit. Well, but like, I would say this, the uh, Goodfellas is more modern and is like faster paced. I think it's closer it's to funnier. our era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it definitely, it has more like violence. You're right. The Godfather, Godfather is more like, like a art, art film. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're, They're like hyper focused yeah. on, the, on the artistry and mm. just how everything looks. And I don't think and, Coppola really, uh, that's his, that's his, like his, his apex. Uh, Whereas Apocalypse Now. Okay, well, I think Godfather was after. I think it goes Apocalypse Now, then Godfather, then Godfather Two, then some other fucking movie about a Jew, and then Godfather Three. I'm smoking debris out in fucking 2003. Catch me out here watching Godfather Three for the third time. Yeah, you know me. I love Al Pacino. He's fine. Whoa. Yo, Al Pacino just got a girl that's 29 yeah. years old good pregnant with yeah. a fucking with son. my good fellas robin de niro from any good fella out the wheelchair i push you down the flight of stairs and pick your bones Damn. up you already know i never hang them phones up yeah. listen every bone bruh you Break. know we rolling with the mob Ooh, uh just a nice no slob Whoa. coming out with the tux because you know we don't give no fucks uh. Whoa. I'm wearing the tux with the weird collar. See your girlfriend walk by a holler. Damn, what beat was that? Show Scott. Okay, fire. I got you. Yeah. 
Uh, you got to right. shout out a couple of them, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Find a Way by Lex Factor was earlier. God's Hand by Manuel. Life's a Bitch by Bailey Daniel. And I think that was In Denial by Dentist Four as a Roman numerals. That was fire. Cool, cool. We have one left. I believe that's correct. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Uh, that was fire. I, um, we usually uh, record this main episode. And I think we started doing this after you left or yeah. after, since you've been here last time. Mm-hmm. We started doing a second episode for a Patreon. We recorded a Patreon yesterday, but I'd be willing to do another Patreon if you guys are having a good time and would like to stick around an additional 30, 45 minutes. You could say no. You could be like, oh, I got to go do another thing and whatnot, but I'm just letting you guys know that that is an option. Uh, Offers on the table. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Cool. Damn, dude, this is exciting. This is exciting. If you guys aren't signed up to the Patreon and you're listening to this, you need to sign up to the it's Patreon. Only five dollars, you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah deal with the century. Five bucks. If you, if money, you got five dollars, man. Come on. You forget about that five dollars. It's right. It's monthly. What is, what is that? It'd be weird. Forget that foot long. That's like a yeah. a dollar twenty five. <laughs> They're not a even week. fucking five dollars. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're not even five dollars. Foot, foot yeah, they're dude. not even no. They're like six dollars. Free dude. Jared. Dollars. That's why they don't do the commercial anymore. <laughs> exactly. That's why they don't even advertise that shit. And who the right. fuck is eating Subway? Jersey Mike's. Yeah, dude. I'm more oh, of a Jimmy yeah, yeah. John's guy. You get the Par- Jersey Mike. You get the Parmesan bread. Huh? There's like a cheese bread instead of like the regular. I don't white. really like bread like that. To be put Razor, why do you have to not shit? agree with That's me on this? So bro. contrary, so pissed. Of you, Razor. <laughs> Did we not like go over the fact that I was a hater of many things? <laughs> You're, like, You're over I, here talking I was about being Jersey so Mike's, and then he's like, "But I don't lie, but I hate the bread." Yeah, yeah. No, I just <laughs> like you no know, white bread, wheat bread, Wonder Bread. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like Parmesan. Like. That's extra to me. You're Parmesan really bread, bread, garlic, bread. garlic. Bread. I fuck with garlic. Bread. Okay, there we go. Now I we can we agree bread. on something. Okay. Some but like Parmesan cheese bread with a sandwich, mm, nah. Like, yeah, like you, if I'm about to eat a sandwich, like you want you want cheesy like garlicky bread, like nah. yes, really? Nah. That sounds awesome. Nah, with a sandwich, nah. Here's, a, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get some some Parmesan bread, uh, Jimmy. Not uh, Jersey Mike's. Mm-hmm. We're gonna watch The Godfather, and then we're gonna watch <laughs> do everything that. that I have not yeah, done yeah. today. We're not, we're not, we're not, I think we're gonna have to eat two to three sandwiches to get through all the movies. But you know, I'm always on board to. <laughs> it's like a fucking what two three hour movie. Uh, yeah, it's pretty long. long. Yeah, it's long. Movie, it's long. I wouldn't just. And watch. there's parts too, right? Part yep. one, two, and three. Well, there's three movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't say there's parts, but yeah, I guess you could say that. The second one is long enough that there's an intermission, though. We just watched it last week. Really? God yeah. damn. Okay. Was it? Uh, did good. you have multiple multiple VHSs? <laughs> I remember yes. back in the day. I did right? have that. Like, so my mom had an extensive movie collection, mm-hmm. and we did have The Godfather, and it was a three piece. On yes, on the on the VHS that came so, in a little yeah. box and shit. I just never watched it. Yeah. We had Goodfellas. Right. We had all that. shit. I can't be bro. out here just switching VHSs all day. I'm trying to relax. <laughs> That was so wild that oh, they were, just kept rewinding Goodfellas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I watched yeah, the first man. hour twenty of Goodfellas seventeen times. I can't believe a, a VHS w- couldn't fit three hours on it. Like that's crazy that they had to have multiple VHSs <laughs> for that shit, and they just decided to still do it anyway. That's funny. You would think, yeah. Well, I bet a I bet a bunch of movies all, were an hour twenty for that reason because it was like, all right, here's what fits. Maybe, I mean, what but no, because like, they had been. Making movies that were an hour twenty long before VHSs were ever invented. So then, yeah. what determines like, like how big, like you know, like how long a like how long a movie is, like how does that determine how a VHS? Plays? Well, the you know VHS is literally like it's almost like a roll of film. Yeah, right, right, right. So right, right. It, that's pretty much. So is there more film in a three hour movie versus like a one hour? Oh, movie? a thousand percent. Okay, because yeah. it's yeah. that's just how it works. It's it's, it's if it's like twenty four frames a second, you know, uh, if it's three hours, well, I don't know the math, but okay. that's a lot of fucking seconds okay, compared okay. to. It's funny an because hour I movie. understand how uh, film works. So I'm like, oh yeah, VHS. Oh, I, that's so I, cool. Dude. I understand how the film works. As soon as you get to DVD or digital, I don't understand how that. I'm. It's basically that. no, but they they've sort of translated it to work like with digital because i mean everything that you're just a bunch doing of there like with because we're shooting digitally now but you're still shooting at 24 frames a second and like you have a shutter speed and there's still like all these still film terms that are being 
translated over to digital. You're so smart, bro. I know. It's just the end of the day. Damn, it's funny. It's funny. He roasted me for saying I knew how film worked, yeah. and then as soon as he said the word at shutter speed, you were like, "You're so cool." Well, man. I didn't. I, I didn't qualify it by being like, "I actually." Oh, hold on, guys. I actually know a few thing or two about movies, so just let me uh, say, say. I meant my to piece. say I comprehend the concept of the tape inside the VHS. What are you gonna do? I'm glad that. What are we, gonna do? I'm glad we have digital now because I wouldn't be making beats if it was that difficult. Yo, but my boy Bass, he can do it. He says, screw it. I'ma hit the dollar bin and wave both of my fins. Swordfish, yeah, you know, horse shit when I'm speaking on the mic, so sick. I do it all analog. Put another beat in the catalog. Oh. Then put it out for reissue. So sweet, make you cry, I need a tissue. Analog, yeah, I put it in the catalog. Then I eat a cantaloupe, then I drop a massive log. Whoa. That's just how it is, I make beats every day. What can I say? I like the digital Yo, way. Wake up, make a little bacon and some pancakes. Uh-huh. About to go ahead, see them homies give them handshakes. Yeah. And I'm about to smoke a little weed. Damn, forgot my fucking lighter with my speed. Bam. I ain't got no lighter, but I was born a fighter. I might hit the stove, yeah, with a dude who, uh, his name is Michael. Michael. That's weird. Corley. I don't get that. Oh, Oh, that was the best one. Hey, bro, that was, hey, I I see, I see. Boom. (laughs) When you, when you said tissue. Yeah, that was, that was fine. The catalog and the tissue, I was like, Oh, man. Oh, man. It's, uh, it's going on. Right, I piggybacked off that catalog. (laughs) Running pretty hard there. (laughs) <laughs> it's it's harder to go before that was, you know that was a banger in two seconds oh no, yeah kyle saying. would be proud kyle beats please hit us up <laughs> oh can i say something real quick about that that fool has like placements like he works with artists like he could just put out music and be good oh yeah and instead it's like a youtube thing it's just weird it's weird to me that making the beats wouldn't be the most important thing to you like that wouldn't be I mean, he probably has the a means to do it all i just saw like beat butcher did a song with Kenny Beats on like the new Spider Man well, soundtrack. And now I see all his packs and shit. And I was like, I thought he just was a guy who made like sound kits. Now he's, he's nah, out he's there popping doing now. Who? Real the Kenny or Beat Butcher? Beat Butcher. Beat Butcher. Because I, I was seeing his packs and shit. I never really heard of him that. outside of his drum kits. Drum just kits like and finding shit. them on every website. Yeah. I guess ch- to me, it would be obvious that the, you, uh, every producer's priority would be to like to get in a room with some artist that you like and then make fucking dope ass songs but i get that that's not the ultimate goal for everybody that maybe that's it's probably more annoying and harder because but if i was popping and somebody was like yo you trying to get in the studio I'd be like let's do that yeah fuck me in front of the camera being like Whoa. today we're gonna make a beat with a, a, a audio from little mermaid oh, yeah. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Yeah!" laughs> fucking they really do that that's shit. A, and yeah that and, they, and they make bangers at the end of the fucking well, yeah. can i make a beat I using think... only sounds from stuff i find on my yeah, desk yeah and just opening the fridge and closing yeah. it and, and like, people do it and they do it phenomenally yeah it's cool it, it the usually ends up crazy. looking it is technically good. <laughs> cool but to me that is less cool than fucking you know making a beat and like showing it to danny brown and he's like this shit hard <laughs> and then he goes off it's all just a path to getting your music heard wow dude that's all i'll is, leave you guys with is. that if you guys want to yeah. keep listening to fucking incredible wisdom from from bass and um and from razor I'm keep listening sign up to the patreon go to patreon.com forward slash dome with banfo mania it's only five bucks sign up only five bucks and yo. then and then disc like and, and then cancel but five just sign up bucks. initially get in there and consume all the content and like screen record it and then you can leave it was a dollar 25 a week that's not that's bad a dollar 25 a week how much is it a day Let's get those numbers. Oh my god, I can't do that math. But for I fifteen bet it's cents a day, cheap. approximately. That's, yeah, damn, yeah, bro, you better good. go beat up a bum or something. Yeah, bro. dude, I'd be beating up bumps for free, so I might as well. Yeah, dude, I might as well, as well get paid. Um, where can people find us. you? Where can <laughs> yeah, people yeah. find you guys? Anywhere, Spotify. What are the What are uh, the, the, the letters? Ads. What are the Just letters that they have to type in? R A Z R. What about your handle? With about my plug hand. yourself, so, my guy. Yeah, Come on, what, this like is the if time. people if people want to find the music or your Instagram, where do they go? Follow me at Bassanova go first. Follow me at Bassanova Beats. B A S S A N O V A. Yes, that's what we want. There we go. Boom. That's a plug right there. Find me at Samurai Razor. There we go. Samurai 
R A Z R. And actually, all of this is irrelevant because I'm going to put all of everybody's bullshit in the notes. So go to the notes and follow whoever is involved. But you can follow me at Salt and Satire, and you can also follow Banfulmania on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Follow me at Bubba Y B U B B A W H Y Y if you need a music video. And we'll catch you in the Patreon. My present beat is case, it's time to celebrate. Cause the only thing left to do is to elevate. Never listen to bullshit, but say it straight. And keep your head up, little nigga, cause you hella great. And always say the grace. Lord, protect me while I'm living in this hollow place. I know it's not a race and I just got some time to take. But when my bubble time glass break, I contemplate. And so I roll a split and puff into this hollow space where I can leave without. The single mark of modern trace. I'm not a lost soul, just a nigga in his modern days. A nigga's moving shady, but I swear I'm not gon' face. I need a lot of lays. I stack my chips slowly. And if you really know me, trust this ain't no okie dokie. It's be the shit that have you rolling like a roly poly. You niggas insects, I step on you and keep it going. You know I keep it growing. My closet's full of reefer. And the skeleton crossbones might just reach ya. Finding gems in my verses, nigga. Find his keepers, and if you gonna be a weeper, better not be no teacher. You just passing down that loser game. Niggas want their 15 seconds just to lose their fame. I'm just working on the future where I always gain. I be connecting with the people so they know the name. Y'all got the bogus frame. The bigger picture is to be the best. I work like eight days out the week and I don't need the rest. I'm finding peace within myself so I don't need the stress. I'm never asking for attention, but y'all need it less. Bet.